Hi, my name is Ankush and today I'm going to teach you the basic fundamentals and skills needed on how to take a wrist shot. The wrist shot is one of the most common shots in the game of hockey. This is because the wrist shot has a high accuracy and also a high velocity depending on how you take the shot. Okay, so first of all what you're going to need for taking a wrist shot is you're going to need a stick. The stick should be the perfect size for you. It should be in between your nose and your chin. Also, there should be a, a great, uh, a good amount of flex on it, which is comfortable for you. For this video, I'm using a, uh, a stick with the 65, 65 flex. And also, you're gonna need a ball, you're gonna, and you're also gonna need a target to shoot at, okay? And for this video, I have a shooting board, so my, my, the blade of my stick doesn't get wrecked. And this shooting board, I just made at home with uh, plywood and uh, spray paint, and some wood finisher. This is, um, for it, now we're gonna work on body positioning. This is how your hockey stand should look like. Your feet should be shoulder width apart and your knees should be bent in a clap, but not too, not too far down, not, not too straight, okay? So, also your front foot should be facing the net at a 45 degree angle and you should be bent enough as if someone were to put a chair right under your butt, then uh, you would be able to sit on it. Okay, and your your chest should be facing outwards, not anywhere else, as this can uh, result in result in a concussion or an injury. And also, your your shoulders should be uh, lined up straight towards the net. Okay, so the next element is the is the ball placement or the puck placement, and the the windup relating to your release. So before you get started in any of that. Where your ball should be placed is it should be placed right under your blade right up here where the where the blade is cushioning the ball, right? It shouldn't be like this, it should be open, it should be like this. So you don't lose control of the ball. Also the ball, it shouldn't be placed too close to your body and it shouldn't be too, uh, placed far away from your body, right in the middle where it's comfortable. And when you're winding up the ball, it should be placed it should be aligned with your back foot, or if, it, if it's not comfortable for you, you can have it a little back. But a mistake many players make is that they they put the ball way, they try to wind up the, the starting point of their wind up is way too far back, which may, which um, results in a slow release of the shot, which makes the goalie read the shot easier. So it should be aligned at the back foot, and then as you're winding up, your body should open like that. So. It's opening like that, and then you want to put all your weight, the weight is leaning on your back foot, and then you're bending down into the shot like this. So it's like that, and you're just pulling forward. Okay, so the final step in taking a, taking a wrist shot is your release. This is one of the most important things of taking a wrist shot, so listen carefully. The, your release should look something like this. You're creating the flex on the stick, and also you're, you're pushing the ball towards the net. So the blade uh, plays an important factor in releasing the ball. The ball should be on the blade, right? And depending on if you want to aim the ball up, up, up towards the net, your blade should open up. If you want to, if you want the ball to go low and like, for example, get a deflection on net, you you want to make the make the blade go low, right? And it should point like that after you're done the shot. So remember this: the more you open the blade up, the higher your shot will go, and the lower your blade goes, uh, facing to the ground, the lower the shot will go. Okay, so after everything we learned today in this video, your shot should look a little something like this.
the puck, the ball should start in between your legs, then you should draw the puck back onto your back leg, or even more back as, as it's more comfortable for you. Think of it as a tennis ball. The more back you pull, the more power you get on the throw. Location of the ball on the blade. The ball should be on the middle of the blade, then onto the windup, the ball should be um, near the toe of your blade, creating spin on the ball, which would create um, more power on the shot. Next is weight transfer. Go from the back foot to the front foot. This gives you energy on the shot. Next is a flex of the stick. Um, the flex provides a snap motion on the wrist shot. It gives power and speed on the shot. And at the end, the flex gives potential energy on the shot. How you do this is you push hard with the bottom hand and then your top hand pushes back towards your body. Also, you should focus on your hockey stance. Your knees should be comfortably bent and your feet should be shoulder width apart. Next is your vision. You should always have vision on your, on your ball or your puck and your target where you want to aim. Also, your foot and body should be facing towards the net at a 45 degree angle. Your shoulders should be aligned and you should focus on your release. The blade positioning is where the blade is up, the, the shot goes higher, and the lower your blade, the lower the shot will go. So if the blade is facing down, the shot will go low. Next is your follow through with your shot. Where you're aiming the puck and how you'll, how you'll get full power on the shot to continue the release transferring energy. After, it should, after the follow through should look like you're shooting a gun at someone or an arrow. Also, try not to be prone to injury. Buy a stick that's, your per that's a perfect height for you. And also, when you're, when you're going through your follow through, your knee should not exceed your, your big toe as this can cause injuries to the leg. Also, you should use a flick of the wrist when, when, when using the blade positioning, as this can, um, as this can ensure a high shot or a low shot. And also, don't lean into your shot and try to get as much flex as possible. Get a comfortable stick with a comfortable flex, where you don't have to lean into the shot. Um, lean to the shot to get a flex. This will break your stick. So get, get a stick which has a 10 or 20 flex lower. Get a lot of uh, contact with the ball and isolate each activity into separate steps. So don't just go out and practice shooting the wrist shot. Break it down into step by step. Also work on your push and pull without the ball. And last of all, practice your shot. About this diagram is the color. As this represents the blade's contact with the surface. So the darker the color, the more contact with the blade with the surface. And the, and the later your wind up in your shot, the more contact with the ball, the less contact with the ice. Uh, this is where the color is lighter and it's um, a lighter shade of black. A scientific study shows that power depends on the more contact you have with contact time you have with the ball. The release point shows a quick release on the shot. This also shows the weight transfer from the back leg to the front foot. Lastly, the windup from the from the center curls curls back the ball and the most contact on the surface, and then you release the ball towards the net.